I'm doing my makeup. I just used the It Cosmetics CC Cream, the one with SPF. But this is like one of my favorite base products of all time just because it gives you like really good coverage and then it has SPF in it and it's just like, it's a great one. So I'll link that down below if you haven't tried it. Okay, brows are done. I did finish Stealing Fire last night. It was so good. I highly recommend it. I also found these really cute little things at this store on Mother's Day. My little sister and I got some, so I decorated with those. And then I have these really cute little sunny angels. They're so cute. I just put my earrings on because I think I'm actually gonna go to Alfred and um, get a matcha. And if I'm not wearing earrings, I feel like I'm naked. Um, by the way, I'm gonna link this down below. This is like probably my favorite hair product of all time. I use it every single day, multiple times a day after I wash my hair after I style my hair, if I need to retouch my hair, like anything, it smells so good and it's just like the best ever. It's just so good. I don't even know what it does. It just makes my hair like look better. Um, so I'm gonna link it down below. I've gone through three of these in the last few months. It's just my favorite. And the smell you guys is to die for. Okay. I'm gonna go get a matcha. I'll be back. I got my matcha. It's actually not bad. I've always, disliked the matcha from alfred's but i think i cracked the code so i got a by the way this was eight eight dollars like are we okay um 16 ounce iced matcha with macadamia milk vanilla light syrup extra ice add cinnamon so it's good but i don't like paper straws so we're gonna swap that out um quick outfit of the day but this is also my outfit of the day every day my fanny pack is chrome hearts i can't link that my zip up is my favorite one from skims i wear a size extra small i'll link it down below the sunglasses i wear every single day are these they're from bottega i think they're sold out right now but i'll link them down below it's so messy in here um lululemon align legging and then my favorite apls i don't know what these ones are called but i'll link them I also have the McLaren APL ones, but I save those for special occasions. <laughs> but I do wear this zip up actually every single day, either this one or the gray one. I rotate them every single day. So I'm sure in every one of my vlogs, you'll see them at least like five times. I just filmed a Zara haul for TikTok. Um, so I'll link my TikTok down below as well as my Zara favorites page because all the items are linked on there. But these shorts are still like one of the best Zara finds ever. But look at these boots I just got. They're really cute. I hate my knees though. So I'm like, will I ever wear them? I don't know. I mean, they're fun. What do you guys think? And this top is old Aritzia. So I don't think I could find a link for that. Okay, it's 5.30. I just ate for the first time today. I was literally about to pass out. And I was like, oh, I haven't eaten today. So I had Goop Kitchen, their Caesar salad. I added chicken and the egg because I was like starving. But my dinner's at seven, it's 5.30. So I have to leave in an hour. So I wish I had eaten earlier, but it honestly like, I just like forgot. Sometimes I just forget to eat. So I'm gonna touch up my makeup now so I just don't have to worry about it. Also, I don't know what I'm gonna wear tonight. I threw on this sheer black top, I'll link it down below but it's gonna be like low 60s. And I was like, oh, I'll wear a dress and boots, whatever. But now I'm like, I feel like I should just wear pants. I always wear pants, but I just can't help it. I'm gonna use this Westman Atelier blush. Also, I washed all of my makeup brushes yesterday and this one is stained so bad. The lighting always washes me out, but I definitely need some bronzer. I'm going in with my favorite MAC. Mineralize skin finish. I'm still waiting for one of the Sephora's near me to restock all of the Mario powdered bronzers so I can get my shade. All right, I'm gonna add some blush. This blush is seriously the best ever. I think I use it like every single time I do my makeup. Um, I'm gonna do my lips later because it's gonna wear off. I'm gonna just set my face really quick. I will show you guys my outfit.
when I'm ready to go. Okay, I'm about to leave for dinner. Excuse the noise. I have laundry going. I'm wearing the same top. I just figured I'd keep it on. I didn't feel like changing. So I'll link this. I'll link my leather jacket. Um, these jeans are old Zara. And then these shoes are the ones that I wore, I think, in the last vlog. They're from Saks. Those are also linked on my like to know it. I'll link them in the description box. And then all of my fair demand rings and my aura ring because I'm wearing that again. And yeah, that's my outfit. I'm not going to bring my camera just because I don't think my girlfriends want to be in my vlog. <laughs> okay, bye. By the way, look how long my hair is getting. I mean, it's always been long, but I feel like it's like extra long right now. Um, I should probably cut it soon. I probably won't vlog when I get home, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hi guys, I'm about to put my laundry in the dryer. My friend just left. I'm starving and there's nothing here that I want to eat. So I think I'm gonna go, I've already had two coffees. I think I might go get a matcha and maybe some like avocado toast at Bravo. And I have to go to my PO box to renew my lease. So I think I'm gonna just put some jeans on and do that. I got my perfect matcha. 10 out of 10. I also got an avocado toast. Um, I also have really bad social anxiety, so like I can't go places and eat by myself. I've done it one time, but it's like really hard for me. So I literally am gonna eat it in my car before I go to my PO box. So stunning, right? I also think I got a red light ticket, so. I don't know why. Today is just not a great day. I'm gonna finish this. I'll see you guys later. I'm home, you guys. Um, that was really boring. But I figured I would do a little what's in my bag video because my purse is so heavy right now and there's just a bunch of random shit in here or like excess lip products that I want to clean, clear out. So I figured I would just show you. This is my bag. I wear it almost every single day. Shout out to my boyfriend for getting it for me. <laughs> my favorite Bottega sunglasses. These are really like my go-tos. I'll link them down below. Um, car keys with my adorable Prada keychain wallet this honestly i need a new wallet but i can't find one that i like but this is just like so overstuffed i need something a little bit bigger it's my work phone i have a mac powder which i always feel like do i need this or do i not need this but i actually use it a lot because it has a mirror and i have like the little sponge so if i'm getting oily i can like touch up which is nice airpods hand cream Tylenol, I have to have Tylenol in my bag. And sanitizer. So many lip products. Okay. Like, I don't need all of these in here. I have a Refi lip liner in taupe, I think. Um, the, what is this? Candy Glaze Lip from YSL. This lipstick from Armani in shade 104, which is actually so pretty. The Kaja Milk Tea Lip Gloss, Makeup Forever Anywhere Caffeine Lip Liner. Malin and Goats lip balm, Malin and Goats SPF lip balm, uh, mini Baccarat Rouge, oh my god, uh, Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude, two band-aids, Anastasia Brow Gel, lots of hair ties, another hair tie, oh this is my mom's ring, <laughs> shout out Camilla Sreddy, um, I have a quarter, some Listerine mints. I have, oh, this is so disgusting now. I have like a little bear demand pouch that I could like put my jewelry in in case I like am getting a massage or a facial and I take off my necklaces and my earrings. That was everything. Um, I feel like I can definitely condense this by getting rid of some of my lip products. I also need to go through my empties and try to get rid of some of the stuff in my medicine cabinet. So maybe we'll do that right now. Okay. This is a disaster, honestly, and I really need to like figure this out. Like this is so disgusting. Honestly, I at one point just had this and like hand soap and everything was amazing. And somehow this is like my countertops get so cluttered. And then I keep this thing with all of my like almost everyday hair products and just random stuff. But in here, where I have all other hair products, other skincare products. But then down here I have so much stuff. Like all of this body stuff, so many backups or new things. I have my empties in here, 
random skincare, travel bags. I have like all of my hair tools in here, more hair stuff all the way back there. Like it's just too much. And honestly, I don't have the capacity to do it all right now. But maybe if I just go through my empties and like start either throwing things away or recycling them, then I can start going through here. So I brought these things down because this is almost empty. This is basically empty. I literally pulled this out, my rich cream. I'm gonna just grab things from here that are almost running out so I can like try to go through them really quickly. Like this is almost done, I need to finish that. Honestly, I'm not even gonna bother with that. I think I'm just gonna go through my empties actually. Okay, here are all of my empties. We're gonna do a speed round. So I would definitely repurchase this. I already have repurchased this, I love this. I have another one of those already. I love this Charlotte Tilbury mascara. Obviously I repurchase this. I buy probably like one or two a month. I go through so many of these. I also go through a million of these. I actually just recycled a few of these to Summer Fridays, both the Vitamin C and the Dream Oasis. Can't live without those. Can't live without this. I've probably gone through like a million. This I got from my facialist a while ago, Alpharet. Probably wouldn't repurchase this. I just have too many skincare products and that one wasn't like life-changing. This, I've gone through a million of these, the six-in-one styler from Virtue. I already have a new backup. I've bought a few of these. I've actually gone through a few of these, uh, the K18. I like it, but I used to think it was amazing and now I'm kind of like whatever about it. So I probably won't repurchase that. I won't repurchase Olaplex anymore, I'm over it. This, I've gone through so many of these, my favorite shower oil, but one time I was out of this and I picked this one up from Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's, this is so good, smells amazing. Um, and I probably would repurchase it, but I have another one of these. This I love from Lux Unfiltered, the fragrance-free body conditioner. I've gone through like 10 of those. Probably wouldn't repurchase their tan, but um, it was good, it was fine. This was really good, but I have way too many serums and shine sprays, so I don't need this, but I actually really do like this if I'm like flat ironing my hair. And then lastly, the body butter from Mother. Stunning packaging. I'll probably repurchase that at some point in my life, but at this point, I just really don't need it. So these were all of my current empties. Now I can throw them away or recycle them. While I'm throwing things away, I actually just cleared out under my sink and I found a bunch of things that are probably so expired. I guess while I'm at it, I'm just gonna throw this away because honestly, I can't get any more out of this. Hi guys, it's like 5 p.m. I'm about to run a bath because I have a tiny bit of self tan left on my chest. It's almost come off everywhere else, but I'm just gonna sit in the bath, soak it off, scrub it off, and probably apply a new layer of tan tonight. Um, so that's what I'm doing. Anytime I take a bath, he like gets so worried. Um, I did this face mask, the Biology Research Mask Vivant. It smells like shit. Um, and then this is what I'm gonna use to scrub it off. It's so dirty because I tried to scrub it off last night in the shower, my tan. Um, but then I'll throw it away. So not only did I take a bath, I took a shower and I applied self tan all over my body. It's like splotchy because I still have to rinse it off, but I am about to pass out because I haven't eaten all day. So I just ordered pad thai and a Thai tea. I've never ordered from this place, um, but I just wanted to try something new and I don't have a straw. Oh yeah, here I do. Update, this pad thai sucks. Honestly, it was fine because I'm starving, but it's like there's not enough sauce and it kind of has no flavor. Um, I also don't get protein on my pad thai. I normally just get tofu, but I didn't even get tofu. Where is the sauce? I like mine really saucy, but this is just not it. I haven't tried my Thai tea yet, but let's try it. The Thai tea is good, but I would never order from this place again because this is literally the most mediocre pad thai I've ever had in my life. Okay, bye. <laughs> hey guys, it's currently 11.30. I'm almost finished with my book. I have like 50 pages left. I just got really hungry because the pad thai did not satisfy me. So I just made the Trader Joe's dumplings. I have this, which I'm addicted to. I have this on my Amazon because I'm obsessed. Crunchy garlic chili oil. I've gone through so many of these. And then I also... I don't actually like this one, but I kind of wanted to just give it a second chance, the momofuku. And then I made my own little sauce with just like soy sauce, sesame oil, rice vinegar, brown sugar. All right, well, I'm gonna go enjoy these and I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night.
All right, I'm sitting down. I have a lot of work to catch up on today. I finished this book last night. Oh my God, this is such an amazing book. I gave it five stars. I can't give you like details without spoiling it and I don't wanna spoil it, but this was, I loved this book. And now I need to read more Stephen King books and I don't know what I was waiting for. Got this in the mail, so cute. And then a little makeup bag with their tinted moisturizer, which I've actually been dying to try. Thank you, Rare Beauty. And I'm a sucker for any kind of pouch or makeup bag, so very exciting. We'll be using those tomorrow. Okay, well, that was just my intermission. Now I gotta get back to work. Well, hello. Whoa. That was crazy. Um, well, it is 11.53. I just got to Community Goods. I got my iced, I got an iced decaf vanilla bean latte because I've already had two shots of espresso this morning and then I got a hot matcha latte with cinnamon because it's really cold outside 60 degrees I filmed a tiktok this morning using the rare beauty tinted moisturizer for the first time it was so good love that I also went to Hermes but I didn't get anything for myself I just got a gift for my friend for her birthday and now I'm just gonna go to the post office and then I have to deposit some cash I almost just got the matcha like I ordered it, I sat down, got my matcha, and I was like, that is gonna be gone in five seconds. So of course I got a second drink. I've never gone to community goods and got one drink. It's like, what am I supposed to do with this? It's a kid's cup. Next time I'm just gonna bring my Stanley <laughs> and have them fill it up. It'll be like an $80 coffee, but it would probably be worth it. Um, oh, well my camera's gonna die, so I guess I'll see you at home. Hi guys, I'm home. I still have to charge my camera. I should probably do that now, but I changed into comfy clothes. I put my Uggs on and some leggings and then my all-time favorite t-shirt that is like the softest, most comfortable shirt ever. It's from Skims. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna charge my camera and I'm going to read a little bit until my boyfriend gets home. Okay. The TV is super loud and I'm going out to dinner with my boyfriend. And here's my outfit, shark boots, jeans, I forget from where, old Zara bodysuit. I'll link this body low because it is the best ever, but I'm going to dinner. I'm not bringing my camera. That's all. Bye. Good morning. I have been a wreck at trying to vlog. I have no idea what I have recorded thus far, so I apologize. I've just been doing some work. I actually got these new flowers yesterday so pretty my skin is finally clearing up you guys actually i'm gonna show you okay to the bathroom okay we're in the bathroom now so the only thing i have on right now besides my moisturizer is this uh eucerin tinted sunscreen which is similar to the elta md one what did i come in here to show you guys oh what i've been using so i've been doing like the same cleansers and paula's choice i got a brand new vino perfect Caudalie serum because i had finished mine but I just also started using this because I got a set. So this is the Vino Perfect Essence and the Vino Perfect Moisturizer. So I've been using those. I've also gone back to the Drunk Elephant Marula Oil, which I used religiously for years when I was in college. Another thing, I want to love this so badly and I've used a lot of it. And I swear, I don't think it's good for my skin. Like it just is so thick that I'm like, this can't possibly not be clogging my pores, right? Like. I don't know. I don't even know why I try. Hi again. I just got something in the mail from Amazon. I'm going to link these down below because I think these might be really good. So this was like $4 for all of these powder puffs. Don't know why I never ordered these. Like I feel like I've been seeing everyone using these for powder for a year. I used to keep a MAC Studio Fix powder in my purse, but honestly it was very bulky but i decided to just get a little mini charlotte tilbury powder because it has the mirror and the powder but i don't have a clean powder puff that i could keep in my purse so i have this little Givenchy one but it's still pretty thick so look at how tiny these little ones are they're so little and so thin so i feel like it's perfect by the way i'm back on this train which i haven't used since i was in paris in 2019 the NYX lip oil. It's so nostalgic for me. I'll link it down below. My apologies. I just appeared again. Um, and I think I'm just gonna end this vlog here because nothing else is happening today. I just can't imagine 
this vlog getting any better. So I'm just gonna end it here. Sorry about that. Hopefully the next video is, no matter what the next video will be better because I just can't allow this to keep happening. I'd rather just not vlog. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I promise the next one will be better. And yeah, I will see you guys soon. Goodbye.